Hey, what is going on guys? Uh, it's Caleb here. So about two years ago, I started a design exercise series. So basically I help you guys to copy from popular designers out there. And whenever I see a website that I think we can all learn from, then I'll upload that to that series. So you guys can go ahead and copy that. I think what is a better way to help a junior designer to learn UI and UX than actually copying from, you know, professional designs out there, right? And I think that, you know, the more copying stuff you do, the bigger or the better, the richer your memory or your design bank is going to be eventually when you come up with a project that you know you have to do some kind of design patterns then that kind of design memory that will just flow back up so you can apply you know whatever you copied before on your new project so i think the more you do it the better designer you're going to be and so on that series, I have like two tasks right now. I think the first one is a website task. The second one is a platform task. And this video, I'm going to make a third task. And I think eventually my goal is to make at least maybe like 10 different tasks. So every single time when somebody want to learn UI and UX, they can just come to this Figma file. And then they, we have a lot of exercise for them to start working on. So that is the goal. And for this uh, third task right now, we're going we're gonna to copy Twitter UI, so the Twitter mobile app UI. So let's uh, jump right in. And as you can see in here, it's very, very similar to the first and second task. The first one is basically a you know, website and the second one is copying uh, product hunts. And then this one, again, I have all the screens in here and then I have um, the, the the grid setup for you guys and I have some kind of typography setup and all of these stuff that you need to kind of recreate this kind of screens, right? So uh, for this task, I just want to outright and say that, you know, personally, I think Twitter UI is not the best, but Twitter has a lot of very, very uh, common kind of design patterns that I think you guys can copy. And for example, you know, the create an account screens, I think that is very common that, you know, every single app you work on, they have a create account screens. And then this kind of past code screens, you know, the feeds pages, on uh, your profile pages and stuff like that, right? I think like you can learn a lot of design pattern from, you know, this task. So like I just point out here, you know, this is not like the pixel perfect task that you have to go through. But when I say not pixel perfect, I still want you guys to follow the Google Material Design Guide. Uh, this spacing guide that, you know, I talk about it in another video. So if you don't know what the spacing method is, um, basically just this, right? This The Google Material Spacing Method is whatever multiplied by eight or four, right? So in here, you can see that, you know, they have a grid of 0.8, they have a grid of 0.4, and then eight is basically multiplied by, you know, 16, a 16, 24, 48, and stuff like that, right? So if you don't know, uh, go on and check it out. I will have a link down below. And I also made a video and talk about this design method as well. So you may want to check out my video, my other video as well. So. And this exercise already created a very, very quick screen for you guys. Um, so some of these screens I, I find out right now, they're, they're basically following that design pattern as well on Twitter. So Twitter, like this is 16 pixel and some of this is 32 pixel. So I started the first screen for you guys and you can just take a look at how I created this. But in this video, I'm actually going to be, you know, designing, copying one screen with you guys as well. So you can see, you know, if I'm copying this, if I'm doing this exercise myself, right, like how would I be doing that? So you kind of have an, have an idea how you can follow the same kind of method as well. So the screen that I'm going to design to, uh, with you guys together is this one. So we're going to design this feed screen together. So first thing is you can just basically drag and drop uh, this whole Figma uh, canvas in here. Oh, by the way, uh, this link you can, it's a public link uh, that you can just go on Figma and grab exactly the same thing. You can just copy this entire thing, copy over to your uh, own Figma file. So first on the screen, uh, we're going to design the feed. So this is not related to the screen, so we can just delete that. And then the first one is you can look at, you know, what the component in here, right? The first one is, you know, they have a profile image. They have some like title tag in here, title test in here, and then they have an image and they have some icon, right? So let's recreate that. Uh, and the first thing is, you know, like just make a circle. So I believe this circle um, is, you can just drag it and see it, you know, how big the circle is, right? I believe this is maybe like 52. Right, so I'll just make that as 52. Right, so 52 and then align them. So once when I have that, I drag it back to my frame. And as you can see, this is basically lit literally around like six, 16 pixel, right? So 16 pixel on the side, right? So that's catching exactly that. 
So the green it, the grid is working right. So basically, they're using a sixteen pixel uh, margin spacing grid. So to drag in here, I have the image right now, and then how can I copy the title right? So they have this row too. This is a retweet row. Um, so in here, I have some typography set up for you guys in here. So I believe we can just use these two ones. So I just copy it, paste it back down in here. Uh, mind you, uh, the test in here is not the Twitter test. Twitter has their own fonts, but I think InterTest, InterFont is pretty much, you know, very close match to the Twitter fonts. So we can just use that for now. And then, so to use that, right, I think the first one is they have this type in here. We don't have to copy exactly the wording. So wording, I think we can just go to Lorenzen and just copy some dummy test in here. So we can just use dummy test for now. And then they have the, this title as well, right? This one is bolder. So one thing that I want you to keep in mind is like, even though I said that the, the font doesn't have to match, but I want you guys to match the test color because uh, the reason why they're using this kind of sub kind of a blue huge black is because like every single time when they're using this this is a secondary test information so you want to keep in mind that you know what is important what is less important for the less important one you want to have a little bit lighter color so they don't stand out as much as the true black so in here um you copy that test i believe this is a, a medium size font right so you want to put it back in here and then the second row is they have the test, they have the name. So I think the name I'll just kind of like cut it in the short. So that will be the name and then that will be the one next to that. So 16 minutes at whatever, right? At 60 minutes. Yeah, and then this one will be the name. So name, I can just like to put name in here. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter what the test is. So um, in here, I will put maybe like the bold font for the name. I think it's less bold actually, maybe like semi-bold. Semi yeah, so I will put it in here like that. And again, I think whatever secondary test, we want to keep it the secondary test color, right? And so in here that you have it, um, the icon, I will just forget about the icon for now. Like that is not really important. Uh, but again, right, you want to match, uh, you want to keep the spacing guy, this, the, the similar guy route. Um, I don't think like this spacing is the best in here. I think it's a little bit tight. So when you're doing that, right, just make sure that you are following that grid system when you're aligning your test content. So again, right, like we want to test out like what is the padding size between the image and the, and the test block. Uh, one way is I already created um, this kind of test block in here. I believe this is a pixel. Um, it may be a little bit off, but Apex seems about right, right? So I would come back down in here and make sure that I'm lining it to Apex right? Just like that in here. And that will be the beginning of the test block, right? So move back up a little bit, similar to what they have in here. So secondly, um, I will have to create this kind of like test block right here. So I will just Basically, I'll just duplicate this because this is 16 point as well. So duplicate it and then again, matching it for pixel. Go back in here, grab the test block from dummy test. And then you want to size it back. Make sure that they're sizing it correctly based on the grid, right? So that is my test block right now. 666, uh, sorry, <laughs> 444, four, 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 right? So that is my test block and um, they have an image as well. So this image I believe is, I don't really exactly know the ratio, but I would just guess it, it's 16 by nine for now. And then if you want to create a test block that's 16 by nine, you can just quickly go in here 16 by nine, right? And then you get the test block. And then it seems like this kind of thing is matching this block of test. So in here, I would just copy this block of test. So I believe, um, this is A, so this is uh, 283, right, 283. So I will just copy this and then put it back down here. Make sure that you check this box so the ratio will keep 283, right, and then align them. So that is my image block. And I believe image block, maybe I'll just give it eight. Again, you don't have to match it exactly pixel to pixel, but you just kind of eye it, right? So I believe it's eight, make sure that you follow four, eight, 16 kind of grid system. And then I will give it a border radius because they have a border radius as well. So that is almost like the first feed block, right? The feed block in here, again, I'll just, you know, align it A, maybe like even four, 
in this case. So I have the block in here, right? So next next up, I need to copy the icon. So the icon, again, the icon, we don't really have that Twitter icon, but one way to get icon is um, we can get icon, again, I just duplicated for now. We can get icon from Fun Awesome. So if you don't know Fun Awesome, I talked about them before. So you can just check out my other videos as well. Like I, I'm gonna link all this video down below. So Fun Awesome is pretty awesome that you can just basically grab all this icon fonts from their website. So I would just look at what kind of icon do I need, right? So I need that check bubble icon, right? So I would just keep going here. I'll just type like chats, right? Um, it doesn't have to be the exact icon because this is not Twitter. So it doesn't have to be the exact icon, but I will just put it back the icon in here. So how Font Awesome work is you just basically select Font Awesome on your phone library in here. You may not have this library, but you can definitely find it online. So I think Font Awesome is just pretty, pretty convenient way that you can find icon in here. Right, this is an icon font, and then I'll just duplicate it a couple of times. So we have four icons down below here, right? So four icons. The second one is kind of the retweet or reload icon, loop icon. Right there, I can go back to font icon in here, font awesome in here, type loop, and see what we can get. Right, um, I don't think they have loop. Uh, like, what about retweets? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. They have something like retweets. So that's great. Um, I'll just copy retweets icon in here. So copy it, go back down, paste it, boom, I have that icon now, right? So this is good, and then keep going. Um, and then we have this heart icon, so we go here, type heart, right? Um, copy this heart icon, come back out, paste it, and then eventually they have this share icon. So come here again, find a share, um, share icon, share icon. Do they have anything that looks more similar to what we want? So they do. So I think, I believe is, uh, I believe this one, we can use this one. So this one looks better. So copy it back here, type it in, right? Then we have all the icons in here. So of course the spacing is not correct, right? So they have a little bit more spacing. So you just basically move this one out in here a little bit and then organize them like that, right? Then you have all the spacing I think I think they maybe have, they have it a little bit out here too. So organize it like that, right? Then that's almost it. And then they have the number too. So the number, I will just copy, basically copy it back down here and create the number, right? So the number is well like one or like three or something like that, right? So you just copy and make sure that, again, you measure that, right? You measure that, right? Um, so like one and three. I believe it's something like that. Maybe like they have like eight, maybe not four. Yeah, let's do eight. I think they have like a little bit more spread out. So you wanna make sure that you're kind of matching it. Right, eight, and that'll be it. So this one, uh, again, right? Like if you look at that, they, they're using this kind of blue-ish black too. So you just wanna keep that. So that will be what we do. Um, again, the icon seems to be light too. Let's just, let's just kind of quickly change the icon. Uh, um, the icon thickness, so this is light, right? So that looks a little bit more matching. So again, make sure that it's sort of aligning. It's not exactly, but eight is fine. Um, so you have that, the first block, right? I think that's the first block right now, right? We have the first twist block. They have the dividers as well, so divider, right? Just drag the divider out here, right? And drag the divider out here. Full width, divider, I believe is 16. And I think the line is really thin too, so it's probably not even one pixel. So I'll just give like 0 0.5. And then I want to know exactly like how much they're doing in there, like what is the color for this divider. So you can just quickly go here and grab that. And then boom, you have the divider size out here. So we want to drag it to the top as well. Top is around like 16 too, right? 16, and that will be kind of matching it. So notice that this is aligning to the top of the name tag. So you want to make sure that you're aligning the top of the name tag. So that would be a flip block, right? So that will be it. And then what you do is you just go ahead and duplicate it a couple of times to create your feet, right? So that would be pretty much that. Send it back. Um, all right, sorry. Send this to the front because that's supposed to be um, on top of all of these things, actually. And go back in here. Yeah, 
and then send it to the back, send it to the front. And of course, right, they have, um, sorry, clip the content as well. So of course they have this manual bar that you want to create as well, but I'm not going to create it in this video, but you kind of get the idea, right? Then you have a feed page like that. Right, so that is how I want you guys to match it, and of course you want to create this block as well. But it's very similar to like what I've been doing with you guys together, right? So you have the first kind of screen, and that is how you create a screen. So it's not that it's not that like crazy hard. I created it within like I don't know, like maybe ten minutes, not sure. But that is how you want to create it, and you know, uh, if you keep creating all the screens, I believe that your memory kind of your library, design library bank is going to be a lot bigger after this task. Like I said, you know, Twitter is the first one. I believe I'm going to, you know, be able to pick a couple of more apps that we can all practice together. So, um, hope you guys like it. Hope you guys will find it helpful. And if you have any questions, again, right, like after you finish the task, feel free to share this link back down to my YouTube channel comments. I can go in there and take a look with you guys, or maybe you just let me know uh, that uh, you have done it, and then I'll, well, I'll go ahead and take a look. I believe, actually, not on YouTube, but I have... Um, um, I have a, a Google spreadsheet that to track all of this link that created by you guys. I can go ahead and give you guys some feedback as well. So create this and let me know after you finish. Then I'll go ahead and take a look at it for you guys and leave some feedback. And that's it for the video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and definitely follow my channel as well. Um, and uh, social media as well down below in the descriptions. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers.